Around the Block with Cody Deesberg and Brigitte Bellerin. The, the big piece right now that I noticed with the parents and kids with their talking is, is about the actual hitting other people versus being hit. It's mm-hmm. more of a concern about that piece than anything, which, uh, you know, it's, you know, all we explain is a game of tag, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to tag, you're trying to have some fun with it, mm-hmm. you know, in a controlled setting where mm-hmm. it's not about killing the other person. No. Right. And, uh, you know, the speed and the, and the strength that, that you get from your katas and stuff is where you get that power. But it's also in the sparring part is where you actually get to apply some of it and have some fun with it but i remember when i was competing as a young guy it was there there was uh you know this girl that i fought a lot actually we'd always end up in first and for first and Mm -hmm. second and uh you know it it would be i didn't i didn't want to hurt her and uh and that was a piece that got me like there was a piece there that got me past that whole idea of gender too because Mm -hmm. that was the other side of it you know later on i got to get my butt handed to me by a girl, um, but there was the piece where you know she cried a lot um, oh. in in the competition, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, so I would stop fighting, and uh, <laughs> and it would, I would give her the win, and then well that's we, clever. Could I try that now? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> it's so not gonna much. work anymore. Huh? No, yeah. um, but it was it was something where I actually had to take a look at it. My my mom asked me. She's like, "What did you do? You mm. were winning. What mm-hmm. what happened?" So well, she wanted. She she was upset, and I wanted to, you know, like, she 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 needed it more. She wanted it more, Mom. So it was something like that. And then it came down to the point where she, about four tournaments later, she ran into my sidekick, and uh, she cried again. And I think it was the judge that, that kind of said, you're not at fault here. She ran into it. This It's not your fault. You were It was a clean technique. Mm-hmm. If it happened the other way, it'd be the same. And I was kind of like, oh, well, I guess so. You know, and so I kind of, after that, I never, it wasn't about hitting her hard or anything. It was, I wasn't afraid to get the points after that Mm -hmm. because I knew that that's just the way she dealt with it. Right. And I think she grew out of it too because she had to, right? And Mm -hmm. it's just that understanding of, you know, you're not hurting the other person, right? Like, it's like, you know, it's it's a game and tag and sometimes there's going to be issues, but it's going to happen across the board, whether you're fighting a guy or a girl. Right. Oh, I've I've had kicks sometimes those little preteens, and they kick hard and they're fast, but they have bony feet and <laughs> bony elbows. And so whenever you clash, or, and I, I still have a bruise from last week from a, a very young teenager who just nailed me with a side kick. It was just a little bit low, not very low, but just on the top of the hip bone. And it's in the gray area. <clears throat> It's a gray area, and obviously she didn't mean to hurt me or anything, but because she's quite bony and it hit me right on the bone. Wow, that was a good, and I, and I laughed and I said, well, you're good. You got me good with that one. I'm going to be bruised for a while. He says, oh, I'm sorry. Said, no, no, that's fine. That's part of the game. But there you go. She's just this frail little thing. And yet she has good technique. Well, it would seem to be. Well, you know, it, <laughs> it can hurt. You. Exactly. So this is, a, this is a good thing. And, and then I'm glad that you uh, worked and got over that thing of not letting, not being afraid to, uh, to hit a woman because... Now it helps me in my training because you hit me. And well, you don't seem to have any problem with that. Well, the part of that thing, too, is that it's almost, uh, you know, I don't know if to, it's almost to some condescending if you're, if you're trying mm-hmm. to hold back too much. That's right. That's right? right. Because it's like you don't respect them um, as a martial artist. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of female influences in my martial arts career. I mean, it just between, you know, my mom... My, my sisters being around, uh, my my karate instructor, you know, uh, Sensei Laurie, she was, she was, she was, a, I would draw, she was a She tough could take one. it. She, she could was, take it. She, oh, she could give it. Let's put it that <laughs> way. <laughs> and so it was, uh, you know, there are a lot of good influences that way where it taught me that, uh, you know, just, it's the same, it's the same as being uh, a young man going up against your um, older, wiser karate instructor trying to prove yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's condescending if they if they play around with you and don't want to actually, you know, spar right. with you or actually train with you. And so you want to be able to step it up. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, if that means taking a couple shots or if that means you know getting in the mix, get a little dirty there, then that's what actually makes you feel good about yourself and mm-hmm. grow, right? 
So yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of good influences around me as I grew up that taught me to take out the gender equation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? Yes, there's a skill level equation that goes with it. Sure. Obviously you fight to your partner's skill level, right. you know, when you're training. Or if they're hurt or something, and you know them, and their right. level of tolerance. That, that would be, you know, you don't go after that stuff because don't be that an would idiot, be a dirty basically. fighting, exactly, right? Yeah. No, it's something where you you're you're trying to help better each other, and uh, and and fight to that level, mm -hmm. right? It was all about fighting to that level and pushing each other to go to the next level. You know, it wasn't fighting a girl like a girl and a boy like a boy, mm -hmm. you know, and a man like a man. It was, it was just what it was. You know, is you fight to the level. So that both of you guys can get something out of it and, and get better at it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you look around the, uh, the dojos now, from when I started, there being a very low number of women involved. Mm -hmm. But the ones that were there were really <laughs> tough, right? Um, to nowadays, you're seeing more of like a 50-50 mm -hmm. on the floor. I look around and about half the, the group is uh, females. That Kid, are, that kids are and training. adults, Kids right? and Same adults, thing, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see a lot of really neat stuff going on. Like, you know, when, when girls first start, they, they, they're trying to do that little, I'm going to prove to the world that I can do this, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the boys are in, the, in their own world. They, they don't even notice, right? Uh, and so what you see is you see these, these girls that are just, whoa, they got the kicks, they got the splits, they got the, you know, the energy. And the and boys the focus. Have, and the focus. <laughs> and I was going to say, the boys have the energy. It just might be a little bit out there sometimes uh it, but yeah you you kind of see when you can play around with that um you know boys versus girls thing or you highlight somebody in class mm -hmm. that's doing really good mm -hmm. oh check out this person right and yeah people get pumped up to work as hard as that and it really it, it's 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 great to see that there's a lot of uh kick butt girls let's put it that way mm -hmm. you know? and have you seen a similar kind of I will call it progression to have more women. Let's go and call that a pro progress um, in the competition world as well. Because I'm new to competition, but I know that there's there's fewer of us. Obviously, the old ladies, um, but there's there's a number of us. Uh, especially once you get up to world levels, then you mm -hmm. have competition. You have uh, you know well, half a dozen, a dozen women per per division, including in the over forty and forty five. Um, so that's tells me that, well, or I'm going to guess that maybe 20 years ago you didn't have quite as many of the older, the veterans, um, fighting in those competitions. So did you see a change there over the years of com competing? Sure. I mean, there, there's, uh, it depends what, what uh, circuits you follow or where mm. you go to get your competition, but there's definitely um, more women and more, more girls that are competing now. Uh, but I, I feel like that was because of the earlier pioneers, if you will, mm. the people who really paved the way and showed how, you know, how strong mm -hmm. of an influence that they had in it. I mean, one of the best uh, female fighters uh, of my time was is Chelsea Nash, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, and I think she's won pretty much every title across the board. Um, but, you know, training with her, you know, if, if you wanted to put it in a, a guy versus, she trained like the dudes, you know? Mm -hmm. she, she would make a point of, of hitting you Right. Right. And she would make a point of making you feel it, right. you know, and uh, trying to make you cry. Right. And <laughs> and <laughs> she may know she uh, but it, it was definitely um, you just it, these are the people who kind of paved the way. And you're seeing other people look up to the good influences in the mm -hmm. martial arts um, and want to, you know, say, oh, I can do that, too. You know, and right. I think that's part of it. Um, but maybe it's just the fact that there's that many more women in, in karate now, mm -hmm. you know, that it's more acceptable in, in society, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't know. They, I do see a, a lot of it uh, coming up and a lot more uh, uh, skill coming into it too. Yeah, and what I do see also for those of you out there who might be concerned about this is once they remove the karate uniforms, take a shower, fix their hair, put on some makeup, a dress, and sometimes even some heels to go to the the party after the competition or something like that you know what some of these girls they look very much like girls right this is not a tomboys club exu and there's a couple but this is not exclusively tomboys right there's a lot of really girly girls and womanly women out there who are really good in the ring and also out of the ring and they very much look and behave uh the way you know you expect girls to behave mm -hmm. you betcha um you know i was thinking too is uh, just thinking back to like training 
and it was funny I, I had uh, a moment where my mom was doing some like training as well in the same class as me mm -hmm. and uh, that was the only girl that I couldn't fight <laughs> was my mom and she'd be like why aren't you hitting me I'm like but you're my mom I, can't do I couldn't get over that barrier have you ever done it I, we did. We both didn't like fighting each other oh. because of the fact where I couldn't hit my mom, right? And she was mad that I wouldn't hit her. Right. So she's like, "I'm not fighting you anymore. You're uh, not. You know you're what? not giving me any training." And I, I understand was, her. Oh man, have you I, gotten that too? No. Well, no, because my, well, my eldest, she doesn't like it because she's she's still so small that I can hit her pretty well. <laughs> I have a long arm compared to hers, so she doesn't like it as much because then she. Keeps getting hit in the helmet and doesn't like it. Um, but no, if I'd been your mom, I would have been really annoyed with you. Hit me, I want to train. Right? I just I couldn't get take over it. that piece, though. That was the that was, that was the one that that yeah I couldn't. Let. My sister asked me about that. Oh, one. that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that, sisters. That yeah. was that was payback for yeah, all yeah, the yeah. Uh, uh -huh. all for the everything. times that I couldn't hit her mm -hmm. at home, right? Where mm -hmm. I had to hold myself back, and yeah, we had some fun with it. Yeah, but I've, I have run into men, especially, and some younger guys who were afraid to hit. So you do drills or you, you spar, and they're, they're just tapping you. But you, but you can tell they're slowing them. Would you stop doing that? Right? You don't have to try and break my, my ribs. That's fine. I get that. But I'm not going to melt. Yeah. I can take it. Please do me the honor of hitting me normally. Yeah, respect, respect me enough to, right. to bring some, some, uh, energy. some game to it, some energy That's to right. it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's for everyone. It is, it is, and I there's there's so many, uh, you know, great stories along the way that you that that that, you, that we could talk about, but it's really a matter of um, just the fact that if you start taking away the equation of the guys versus the girls mm -hmm. um, in the in the negative way, right? In mm -hmm. the you know this is for the guys and this is for the girls and the girls train together and the guys train together. And, and you just start working on, you know, what the person has put into it and what the person has uh, to offer at the dojo, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's that's really where you're going to see gains in in uh, in the dojo, and then, uh, like you said, bringing it outside the dojo where you see the confidence mm -hmm. and uh, the respect that goes both ways, right? Where you know you respect each other for what you're putting out and mm -hmm. not just for, you know, your gender. Yeah. And speaking of as a mother of three daughters, I'm very glad that they're all taking karate because I know that this will allow them to have a lot more confidence going into the world because it's a scary thing to let your 12, 13, 16 year old go outside knowing that they could defend themselves and punch the guy out if they had to. That to me is great. Yeah, well, look at the the other side of it too with the younger boys and, and, uh, and guys growing up through society too. There's... Mm -hmm. there's a lot there that uh, you want to be equipped with some knowledge and some ready for anything mm -hmm. ready for anything um, you know I got into karate because I was getting bullied mm -hmm. you know and uh, and it's something that is is I hate to say it but more more out there more common to mm -hmm. see that people are coming in because they're getting bullied yeah um, and they need that confidence piece and uh, you know growing growing up it's no different when you know there's situation when you're right. out and about and you're a guy. Or if something we haven't talked about so far, but what if you're gay? Yeah. You're a gay guy, you're a gay woman, you're trans, you're, you're questioning, you're not sure where you are, you're non-binary, whatever. And people pick on you for that? Well, you know what? Knowing how to defend yourself gives you that extra confidence that you only have to growl once. You don't actually have to hit anybody usually to stand up to bullies. In my experience anyway, you don't really have to hit. or once maybe and that's it they leave you alone after that but knowing how to do it makes you walk a little bit taller yeah it really and gives you confidence to just have the just the, the guts to be who you are in yeah. front of everyone and say you know what this is who i am deal with it or don't as you wish but you're going to leave me alone but you have the knowledge and you have the uh the confidence that goes behind it exactly right? yeah so it's for everyone everyone everybody all right Good. Folks, I hope you um, enjoyed this podcast. I want to remind you that you can subscribe to it. It's free on iTunes. Simply look for Around the Block. You can also subscribe to it on SoundCloud or even on YouTube. And we are on Facebook, of course, at facebook.com slash karate podcast. Please subscribe, share, and uh, hope to see you next time.